It was a necessary agreement to help the country move forward, said Argentine senators who voted in favor of a new program with the IMF. Debates about refinancing have been ongoing for two years, something that has caused widespread protests and frustration. It's embarrassing. They gave away our sovereignty. Every three months, the IMF will come to audit our accounts. Aside from that inflation, the cost of transport, of gas, of wheat increase every day. How are we going to afford all this? Argentina and the IMF have been negotiating a new program to restructure over $40 billion in debt inherited by the previous administration. Argentina will have to pay over $2 billion next week. This vote in the Senate was crucial to prevent a default. The government says that an agreement with the IMF is crucial to stabilize the economy that is currently struggling with exchange rate controls, inflation rates and poverty rates. But these people here say that an agreement could force the government to implement austerity measures that will have an impact in their lives. President Alberto Fernández managed to convince the opposition to vote in favor of an agreement that gives the country a four-year grace period, but aims to reduce the deficit and cut down energy subsidies that cost the country over $10 billion a year. What we are doing here today is preventing greater suffering, and this is the importance and the tragedy, because an agreement with the IMF prevents an economic calamity, and that's why we are doing this today against the clock and with lots of responsibility. But the process highlighted tension between President Fernández and Vice President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner, who questioned the terms being negotiated with the IMF. In the past weeks, the war in Ukraine has pushed up commodities prices and inflation has gone up even further. Economists say the agreement goals will have to be revised. When Argentina signed the agreement, everything got worse. The price of energy went up, the price of gas went up, so all the objectives will have to be updated. Growth, inflation and deficit and everything is getting worse, because that's happening around the world. The problem is that here we have a chronic problem. The agreement must be approved by the IMF board. But analysts say the deal will not solve Argentina's endemic economic problems. Problems that have left millions living in poverty and looking for solutions that never seem to arrive. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.